Hi, welcome back. <clears throat> Been out for lunch. And for those of you that live in South London, South West London, <coughs> eight of us went to a place called Jimmy Spice in Wimbledon Village, or Wimbledon, Wimbledon. And Wimbledon, as you know, is, is the, the South London suburb in London that uh, hosts the Wimbledon tennis every year. We weren't very far from there. It's a very nice town. It was part of the greater London and surrounded by some very, very expensive real estate. Uh, and very, very inexpensive meal for us old age pensioners. Eat all you can. It's Chinese, Indian food and Mexican. Really, really nice. Highly recommend it. Especially for the price, for, uh, the price we paid. Uh, Travelling there from Wellington was free on, on our Freedom Passes, because we're old. Very nice too. Uh, okay, my my new uh, squirrel mop from Pro Arts came today. There it is. That's the other one, the other squirrel mop, the, the SAB. Very expensive brush. Now, now it's well over £30. This one was £18, quite expensive. And that is the other mop, the other pro art mop, which is goat hair, which I'm going to use as a, a mop. And this one I'm going to try and use for the detail. Now the first time I've used it, so I'm going to paint from memory Beddington Farm. It's a, it's a gorgeous point, right? Um, Beddington Farm. Uh, this is a, a quarry, although I'm doing it from memory a quarry and which is now filled with it fills itself with water it's very we're very close to the water table here in this bit of Wallington we're up the hill thankfully so if we get flooded it it floods down there but not up here uh but floods would be, be, be a change for the oh it's raining we haven't had any rain for weeks oh come on so what we've got is a whole area of um of um, well, open flatland, marsh marshland, uh, which will eventually become part of a much greater park area, including Beddington Park. All this huge area here, um, the tram goes down the side of it, although you can't see from the trees. We're very, very fortunate for transport links around around here, really. Uh, and it's got these distant trees which are bordering. Beddington Park, the other side. So coming this way towards us, uh, we go towards Mitcham Golf Course and Mitcham Common, where I paint from Seven Islands. Um, I'm going to do more of those. But it's, the weather's starting to warm up a bit, thank goodness. And I want to get out on my bike with my, my new sketch pad. Well, this sketch pad, it's uh, A4, 12 sheets of A4, Windsor and Newton, £140 cold press and it's quite rough. I'm looking forward to taking that out on my bike with my paints, with my paint box. That's why I'm practicing with this box. And uh, a uh, small seat, folding seat that will go on the, the uh, pannier at the back. I'm, just, I'm going to spend a couple of hours down here with uh, sketching, doing this sort of thing. Right, okay, I'm going to I'm going to wet the paper all over for this one. This I think I think is Buckingford. I'm not sure. It was I think it was in this pad. It was the Langton. So I think that's Buckingford, I'm not sure. Taylor Brownie. So uh, thanks David Dickinson who sent me all this good quality paper. And I'm you slowly using it. All my mounts are just falling down. That was this morning's effort. So that's that's on YouTube now and it's also on my Facebook page. Right, okay, so we'll we'll give the paper a bit of a bit of a wet. This is not quite as uh, floppy as as the squirrel there. Which is fine. We don't want the water running down the page. 
I'm sorry all you hate painters, but I'm a bit miffed that I'm doing all this round brush stuff with sables and mucking about with squirrel mops. But there are about a thousand of my videos showing my efforts with the hake over the last four and a half years, or getting on to four and a half years, four years and two months. Keep the point. Right, we won't use this large number, number I think that's number eight. This is a number six. Pro Art Renaissance Squirrel. That's a Renaissance goat hair. Right, okay, we'll, we'll put in a bit of sky, so let's have a bit of sienna, a bit of raw sienna. Don't need a lot of water with, with, with the sky because we've got a lot of uh, water on the on the paper itself, so we'll put in a bit of the, a bit of stronger colour on the water, just warm it all up. Okay, now we're going with some blue. We'll use cobalt, I think. If I keep using cobalt, I'm going to have to buy a tube. Right, let's see what this oh, one can do. Need a bit more colour than that. Okay. As you come to the uh, horizon, you can we can lessen it. It all dries much lighter than. Shows up here now. If I if I put a bit of bit of ultramarine with that blue, and a bit of bit of light red, we can put a bit of a, a dirty cloud in. You can hear the roughness. Okay, that, that'll do. We've, we've left a lot of... Uh, well, the trees are going to come up to there. Right, let's put in some of that mix in the water. Do um, and now I'll put in some. Well, I was going to put in the reflections, but I won't. Oh, clean my brush and with some blue and some hooker's green, we're going to put in some distant trees. They're not that distant, but I'm going to paint them. As if they are, it needs to be a bit darker than that. So ultramarine and hooker's green. I oh, just want it to show, but it's always all disappear. Oh, a bit, bit of sienna to that mix. I'm going to put some heavier bushes underneath all this. This paper's drying out quite nicely now. And it's growing a bit, but it will all uh, stretch out. Oh, it's a lot of colour, this one. 
Oh, well, that did strike some bit. Now I want to put in some heavier, heavier colour now. So we've got Puka's green, a lump of sienna, and a nice lump of blue. Plenty of sienna and ultramarine there on the blue side, but that gives a nice green actually. The ultramarine and burnt sienna, and you can go very dark with that. Less is more. I'll put some some neat blue in, into that. You can do so much with this when it's wet except lift out really. I don't think it's paper lights to be lifted out. And this I can reflect in the calm waters of the lake. It's a great bird watching area for those that are interested in it. But you have to have special access, have a key, because it's not considered to be health and safety clean. I mean clean, safe. So a bit of bit of hookers. These are mostly uh, cotton and watercolours. So let's just uh, dog in some of this here. Yeah. Could do so much when it's wet. It's when it starts to dry and the shine goes off of the paper. There's your danger time where you get your cauliflowers. So I'm using the wetness of the paper to dilute the paint somewhat. Okay, so that's, a, that's my, my background. We can put in a bit of neat sienna in here, here and there, just show a few old watery leaves or something. Just warm it up as, it's, as we come into the uh, foreground, but nice rich, thick paint, otherwise it won't register. Okay, so there's there's our background. I don't. Th I think I should have left that alone. I might I just. Mm, I don't want to do that. Uh, well, I think that's looking okay. I'll put in this uh, background now, and that will be grass. But I just have to get my tea. It'd be nice if I could do this with one brush. So hookers green and some uh, cad yellow. I haven't used uh, the uh, lemon yellow with this. Need more of a wash there. I'll modify this with some shadow. This is just a basic underpainting. to the uh, horizon. Okay, let's uh, put in that dark reflection, blue and the hookers, a bit of the sienna. Just dry 
Uh, to have us. Okay, so I want to, I've got to separate the bank there, so I'll just get a bit of dark, a bit of blue, and a bit of sienna, and just run that on this bank there. And we're putting a bit of that blue from the back to the ultramarine. When that dries a bit, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, do, uh, I'll, I'll put in the bank, the, 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 the darker bank there. Right, now we want some bank there, um, and we'll put a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of raw sienna, a bit of, a bit of umber. Probably need to wash there, really. Yeah, let's just... Put some shabby stuff on there. It's a bit wet there, but we can compensate for that in a moment. Now. that side and then we're coming up here we'll put in some more green just an underpainting here coming down to there so this bank here, so let's get some dark. Fine, okay, got that covered it. And we'll put in some No detail yet. How are we doing? Oh, just a bit of texture on that far bank.
dry brushing. And we want a bit, bit more detail now in that far bank. So the hooker's green, blue, load of it. Plenty of green in there. The light's shining on that. Let's get some blue. I'm just dragging a bit of bit of dry brush over this background. While the rest is drying off. So this is just the background to the park. It just separates the park. Oaks, horse oh, chestnuts, they're all there. Okay, so we can we can uh, put in some some uh, trunks and branches when that's dry. of blue that's just under the oxen ring. That would really uh, throw a spanner in the works. Uh, I hope I don't really point out. It's a great, great point. A few reeds. Just a little bit of detail on that back here. Okay, which is similar to, to that the other side. All sorts of uh, tanglements of uh, foliage and this is over the chain link fence that separates us from it. I just hold the camera there. Right, now there's no separation between that bank, so I'll just put that in. So I've just a little bit of wetness and shadow along here. Okay, so I hope that is showing the reflection. Right, uh, 
Well, I'll start to form this foreground. It's going to be warm, so we're going to want sienna, burnt sienna, burnt umber, bit of hookers, but just a tangle of of stuff here, really. WhatsApp. Bit of paint's great. There's a quite a, a bush there. I won't put it all in. I just put a bit around here. A bit heavier than that, I think. Missing a dark. Nice fine tip on that though. So no detail really in the foreground. The idea is to look that way. I think I've sort of overdone the, the yellow there. I mean the green. Let's uh, start to think about a uh, nice grey colour, blue and, and sienna. Well, if you're right handed, work from left to right. I must say it's easier with the hake, but then I've had a lot of practice with the hake. This is all sort of new, but there's a bit more blue in there. Very fine line, look. Just thicken up some of this here. I'll give us a bit of a dry when I've nearly finished. Just to uh, shrink the paper back if I can. Okay, you can imagine the rest. So a little goes a long way. But that's what I want to thicken up. I'm going to use a bit of that Windsor Blue. Be bold. A bit of green. A bit of sienna. It's alright if you knock it back a bit with other colours. It's taken quite a lot of washes. That bit there. Bit. 
It's supposed to be just a bit of undergrowth. up some of this here. Can you hear the, how rough the paper is? Let's just get a bit more. A bit more dark. Produce a bit of a reflection of the shrubs that they've planted around here. So, this just helps to su suggest reflection. Okay, we'll just strengthen up. much more than that. Put a little bird in I suppose. Palette's a nice mess now. Couple of birds. Just look at that point. A lot of rooks over Bennington Park. Okay, I'm going to give those a dry now. So headphones on for mutual sound. Go. Started to go go fairly flat now. Right, so put in put on a melt. Um, I think it's a bit muddy, but but hey, shut the broom now. There, there is a lot of blue in it. Okay, well there we are. So Bellington Farm Quarry using, well basically just the one brush, my new brush. Got this lovely, lovely point on it, which I shall do my best to preserve it. Gorgeous. Alright, uh, I'll bring you close up to it now. Right, okay, let's go in. Ow. No, I don't think we need to go any closer to it than that. What we've got is a separation between the two there. I didn't want this colour running into that wet green there. I'm not convinced about the hook of screen on in this particular one. I need a lot more practice with it. But this has all gone a bit muddy. <coughs> but uh, I think I think that's that's passable. See what you think.
Thanks for watching. Bye bye.